Using your blue atoll ink and your size 9 stencil brush, just build up the colour from the outside edges in, the outside at the top being darker, and we want to go out to as pale as pale can be in the centre. So we're doing the same sort of thing, this time with a different colour. Um, and it's Elements Ink Truffle, and it's darker in the corners and going to barely anything in the centre. Use a size 3 stencil brush to do the edges with your Elements Ink Dark Denim. And if you make sure that the bottom corners are darker, and work the colour together in small circles just along the edge to provide a frame. So this is the Wild Summer Flower Stamp inked up in Ver Versifying Claire Pinecone. using this fine Claire Bluebell and Peace from the Seasonal Word set. Stamp it up, ink it off to the side and use the second generation stamp for your words. So I have inked up a small stencil brush, so size 3, with some dark denim but I have, as you can see, removed the majority of it and very lightly I'm doing swirly circles. It's the only way I can put it, swirly circles. Dry off your tag and using a magic anti-static pad, give it a once over. Using Snowflake Small, one, of, one from the set, ink it up in Versamark, and one from the larger set, again, inked up in Versamark, and stamp it down. So this is the WOW Embossing Powder, deep, um, opaque white regular, that's the one. And just pop that over the Versamarked snowflakes. And just use your heat tool to bring those snowflakes to life. Add some extra dots with your white Posca pen along the bottom of the words until you get to the bottom. When you get to the one, the piece at the bottom, aha, then you're going to need to use the white on the top of the pen, uh, top of the word even. So if you fill in the dots on the wild summer flower with your white, it gives the idea of these lovely brown skeletal flowers that you see in winter. Take a large stencil brush and create some splatters with it to add a little bit of irregularity, which is always good. This is Stickle's Icicle. Using the end of a paintbrush, just add it along your snowflake. Because we, a little bit of bling is always good. If in doubt, use your finger. There we go. And you've done it. Well done.